okay, good. I get to uh, lead you in your giving, but I also get to um, give you a praise report. I told you I like to give good news. And here's the best news or one of the best news um, pieces of news that we've had in quite some time. I want to congratulate all of you for being obedient givers. And um, what I mean by that is our pre-buy for oil, for heat in the winter that we've um, been asking you about. Well, we sent a $5,000 check last Thursday. It was due on the 13th. So $5,000 from the house went um, directly to the pre-buy. And we just want to say thank you to those who gave online, to those who gave in the house. And we just so appreciate your faithfulness and the importance of understanding that when there is a need in the house, that God uses people to meet that need. So thank you very much. Okay, that's my praise report. I am going to lead you in your giving. The title of my message is, Pay Attention. (laughs) As a school teacher, I'm always trying to keep people's attention. (laughs) Because they know they're there and they're supposed to pay attention, but it's a process to keep the attention. Um, So this morning, I want to just remind you of a couple things. And pay, actually, what's pay mean? Shout it out. What's pay mean? (laughs) pay, you know, give, like you pay for something, right? Um, It's a simple thing, right? Pay. What are you going to do? You're going to give money to it, right? When you pay for your electric bill, you give money to it. When we pay for the pre-buy, we give money to it, right? God, I don't know if God says, but I, I had a different title and this morning I woke up with pay attention, and so we, go, w- w- in order to pay attention, we have to give towards that. We have to give recompense. And sometimes that's a reward or that's punishment. We give a reward or we give punishment, right? But I'm leading you in your giving and God doesn't punish you for not giving. You know, it's just the result of disobedience is your harvest. But when you do, when you are obedient and you do the word, then there is reward. Are you with me? Now, attention, um, oh, pay also means to make right by giving what is due. In other words, you might honor. Honor is another word. Um, for pay. I like that. Actually, pay also could be in the verb sense, this is just dictionary, um, to make amends as for a sin or a fault, to atone. In the church world, we say atone all the time. Well, that's just to uh, make amends for that sin. But what's, what, what are we talking about this morning? We're talking about to give. Give what? Give your attention. Give your attention to what? Finances. Okay, because we're talking about giving right now in your tithe. And you know what the word says. We're good Bible students. We know what the word says. So I'm not going to go over that. But pay attention. Attention. Attention means to be present. Sometimes I look at my students and their bodies. They're sitting there, but they are not present. (laughs) You know, they're just not present. I'm like, hello, I'm up here. You know, my boss always tells me I'm very dynamic and entertaining. The reason I'm dynamic and entertaining is because I have to keep their attention. I can tell them all day long, pay, give me your presence, your attention, your um, attending to, right? But, you know, that's just words. So sometimes I have to, like, shock them into bringing back their attention. I, I do all kinds of things, but we're not going there. I've been known to dance in my room, whatever. But um, attend, attention means to take care. You're going to take care of when you give attention. Um, to remain ready to serve, attention. There are... The, Act of observing attention. What are you doing? Pay attention. You know, if my husband doesn't pay attention to me, I mean, I, get, I tell him I'm high maintenance. You, you got to pay attention to me. Because if you don't pay attention to me, I, you know, it's like our marriage isn't as fun. I'm much more fun if you pay attention to me. God, I mean, what's God say? Are we paying attention to God? Are we paying attention to God? When you pay attention to a child, they thrive, they flourish, right? They, how about you? When you pay it, when someone pays attention to you, what do you do? You kind of like stand up and try and be your best, right? Well, when you pay attention um, to a child, they do the same thing. 
So uh, what's my request this morning? My request for you this morning is pay attention to your finances. Pay attention to your money. It's an hour that we ought to be serious about our finances. Are you with me? I, I wrote down a couple statements like, attention is the key to so many things related to our lives. We have to pay attention to walk across the street. We have to pay attention to our relationships. We have to pay attention to our work when we're at, on the job. We have to pay attention to our, our um, finances, right? Now, we think that's, you know, hello, common sense. But remember, common sense these days is not so common. So... We have to pay uh, attention to these things. Now, I know you're thinking I need to give you a scripture, but I don't have one. <laughs> I can quote a few uh, scriptures, go to Malachi, and we can talk about giving. But I'm here to tell you to pay attention. How many things do you do without knowing you do it? Like, I do some things and, you know, like I go get a cup of tea and I don't even think about it. I'm not present. When I get out of bed in the morning, I am not present, okay? I just, like, somehow make my way to the kitchen and turn on the hot pot, you know, my boiling water for my tea, and um, I sometimes don't even remember making my cup of tea. Most of the time, Bishop makes it, but when he doesn't, you know, I'm on it. So how many things do we do? Do you give your finances without even paying attention to it? Do you just like write your check to the church, the ministry, because you're a faithful giver and you know that God, everything you own is God's and you just re, you give back the 10% that he requires for a tithe? I mean, do you pay attention? Are you present when you are writing that check out or are you just muscle memory? You know, sometimes somebody will go, uh, especially when I'm at the church, well, what's um, so-and-so? I'm like, I got to like you know, do the phone thing. It's muscle memory. I don't even think about what the number is. I just know the buttons to push. It's muscle memory. I'm not paying attention. Do you understand? God wants you to pay attention to your finances. Yeah, you've been obedient. You're all givers. Thank you. But pay attention to what else you give to so that you are in a position for the days that come. This is not an hour to be lackadaisical in your giving or in your finances overall. Are you with me? Be a good steward. We all, we know the word stewardship, but I'm, I, I love that God gave me, I think, a unique way to bring it to your attention. If you give your finances attention, you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna thrive just like your marriage does when you give attention to it, just like your children do when you give attention to it. If you pay attention to your finances, they will thrive because you will know some things that maybe you just do muscle memory wise. I pay attention to our phone bill. When it goes up five bucks, I'm on the phone. Why? What's that? Especially when it goes up more than five. But I'm on the phone. What's the extra five dollars for? When our Detroit Edison bill goes up and they want to slap a $700 deposit, I'm like, what? What? Okay. I'm not paying that. <laughs> I did not pay attention to that. I refused. Do you refuse to do anything? <laughs> I hope you're not refusing to give this morning. But when God says pay attention, I think he, he wants you to really get that in your heart and go, yeah, pay. Yeah. Okay, good. Give your, write your check for 10% of what your increase is. That's your tithe. But don't just make it muscle memory. Make your profession with it. Worship him with it. Pay attention. Observe what he's doing in your finances. Watch your finances thrive when you pay attention, when you give to what, according to God's word, and when you pay attention to every other place it goes. Amen? Well, come, if you're making checks payable, make them to BAM International. If for your cash giving envelopes have been passed out, come on up and give in the house. I'm going to pray for you online. You know the buttons. You know, Taruma, Tithe and Offering, Digital Missions. Come on, go ahead and push those buttons. We want to pray for you that your, your finances will thrive. They're only going to thrive if you pay attention to them. Amen?
Father, we thank you for those this morning that have a heart to pay attention, to give to that, their presence, to that, uh, that process, Lord. We know that you are faithful to your word, and we also know that you tell us things to prepare us for what's to come. And you've told us to get serious about our finances, to pay attention, so Lord, that's what we're going to do in this house. Thank you for pricking the hearts of everyone in the house and online today to really heed to this pay attention. Pay attention. When you pay attention, you can't be distracted. When you pay attention, you have to be on course. When you pay attention, you don't fall off the way. Amen? Thank you, Lord, for it. 